Oh, so friends and colleagues, many of you will be familiar. Friends, colleagues, Romans, associates will be familiar with Sean's phenomenal sense of timing, both comic and musical. And we're going to test it with this intro. Oh, no. You ready? Yeah. If you see a faded sign at the side of the road, it says 15 miles to, is it? <laughs> I hated that song. <laughs> hated it. Oh dear. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. Intro to one of your videos now. Yeah. Um, Annoyingly, remembered it instantly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what was the um, Rock Lobster? Is it Rock Lobster, that, the, the other big one they had? That was one of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Piece of shiny, tees. happy people. Yeah. No, that was but, REM. Yeah, wasn't it with the B-52s? Was it? Yeah. But, oh. There you go. There horrendous. you go. Anyway, there you go. Uh, very exciting. What are we looking yes. at then, Sean? Well, today, Dan, we're back with Plugin Alliance. Oh. And we're back with Brainworks. Oh. They have a new plugin. Oh. It's called the BX Glue. BX Glue. BX Glue. What does the BX Glue do? The BX Glue does. It's um, it's a bus compressor or just a compressor, depending on how you look at it. But it's kind of it's uh, USP, shall we say? It's mm. a unique selling point. Is it's two band? Right. It's a two band glue compressor. Okay, so for those of us that are not massively down with the technical aspects of for two band compressor. Yeah, for, for yeah. the stupid people. Yeah, for the stupid people. Okay, so you can set a point somewhere in the frequency spectrum between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. Yeah. And at that point, one compressor is doing everything uh, okay. below it and another compressor is doing everything above it. It's a multi band compressor, but they quite often have three or four bands. This mm. one has two. Okay. You split it into I see it's got that new sort of. Uh, into the, the new sort of GUI that uh, it's got that interface that we've not been a big fan not of. been massive fans have we it's got to be say almost it? everything in this interface I haven't enjoyed I haven't <laughs> enjoyed almost anything from Plugin Alliance for quite a while no that's very true that's very true um, take us through it then what um... well the interesting thing is that it's it, it yeah, it's a bit it's it's really good as the mix bus compressor that's mm. what it's designed for this goes at you know on your two bus you mix into it uh it can emulate pretty much any VCA style compressor, much like the SSL style. Um, it has these, I mean, let's go through the settings, top to bottom. Obviously mm -hmm. at the top we've got the input meters, we've got the output meters. We've got this line in the middle of the waveform display. You can grab that in the middle and move your split point. So that's where it's separating the two bands. And then you can grab the bands and drag them manually that way. Mm -hmm. You have your ratio and so your grabbing threshold. grabbing the band, you can grab the compression points Yes, so grab the threshold, basically. Threshold, yeah. So you can set the ratio there, the threshold there, mm -hmm. your crossover point, you can set it there if you want, or it just tells you what it is. Yeah. Band link, that's really interesting. What percentage do you want those bands to link? Okay. Do you want them completely independent, or do you want a percentage of overlap? Mm. That's quite cool. I really like that. There's also a band tilt. I quite like that. So yeah. you can make it, you know, tilt more towards the top or the bottom. Mm. That's quite nice. Uh, over here, you've got a big attack and a slightly smaller release control. Yeah. Uh, an auto button, much like an SSL bus compressor, having an auto release yep. often helps get it nailed right. We've then got a tone section down the bottom here, which is quite interesting because we've got ways of, <clears> of, <throat> of yeah, of just giving it different vibes. So we've got what have we got the first thing so total harmonic distortion your thd mm. so you got classic or dirty it's just the amount of saturation basically that's going into the signal and then here you can see it says uh, nickel or iron now that is the style of transformer which is what's going to make it sound like different compressors mm -hmm. that is actually quite nice uh, in the middle a big mix control so you've got your parallel compression there uh the levels you've got your input other side you've got your output it's got an auto level so it'll, it'll gain match for you which is handy it's also got a headroom control right which when testing it was vital right I, I really needed to push that headroom up to get the best out of it okay uh side chains really good it's got this emphasis section which again, i really like it can be set in tilt mode which is where we were talking about before you can set the tilt to mm -hmm. be more favoring the high or the low but it's also got a tub mode 
where it basically puts a, a dent in the middle, like a smiley curve, and you can dial in more or less. You can set that frequency point where the dent is. I really like that. Uh, and then you've got your Brainworks stereo section, the mono maker and the stereo width. Wow, so fucking loads going on there then. Loads going on, but unlike that thing we looked at recently, which yep. had loads going on, none of it which made any sense, yeah, especially yeah. the tuner. Yeah. All of this makes tune. sense. <laughs> yeah, I could see that you're quite excited by this. Well, I just haven't liked anything they've done for ages, no. and, and this, I think, is absolutely fucking amazing. Mm. It sounds great yeah. on almost everything I tried it on. Great on a drum bus, great on guitars, great on vocals, mm -hmm. great on the mix bus. Looks pretty good. All these sections make sense. Yeah, okay, very cool. And because it's Plugin Alliance, of course, you get... You get a full 14 days. Brilliant. Which is, you know, that's awesome. Um, the one thing I will say, yeah. th there's a slight problem. I don't know if it's it's just me or my system, but mm -hmm. whenever I had it set to the auto on levels, when that auto button was in there, <laughs> particularly loud transients would cause it to crap out. Mm. It would do that weird <laughs> closing right. in and yeah, sort of yeah, making yeah. a weird noise and then going back. And it's like, there's obviously something going on there. It only did it when auto was on. And no matter how much level I fed into it with that off, it yeah. didn't do it. Right, okay. So that's just maybe a bug they need mm. to look at. Or maybe that's that's how it how it works. Don't know. Very cool. But yeah, I, I was massively impressed. Really liked it. Excellent stuff. Uh, anything further to add? Well, the price. Yeah, a, a fairly significant, significant part of the review. Of the yeah. review. Uh, $189. Okay. Which is hefty for a plug-in, as, as we're saying mm -hmm. regularly. Um, in the sale at the moment, because it's new, it's $99. Yeah. But like everything, I mean, I think at the moment, their, their Amec Mastering Compressor, which is one of the best plugins I've heard, mm. that, that's 30 quid now. Yeah. When this is 30 quid, if you don't go and get it, you're mad. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. You can see this just sitting, like you say, sitting on your master bus while you're working. It's just really nice. Whole that project. whole two-band thing is yeah. so clever. Yeah. It's really nice, and on specific, you know, certain tracks, you've got a really heavy bottom end on a track right let's let's just separate that that can have that you know going on and we'll do something else for the rest of it it's really cool and the fact that you've got this percentage how much they're linked that's magic very cool very yes. cool so sean is the plugin alliance bx glue shit it is not shit no i i actually really like it my phone's going off yeah it? okay well let's do this quick <laughs> it's then. not important um it's not no we'll take a time then yeah yeah um uh, so anyway, please like the video. That would be very handy if you did and subscribe to the channel. You can also now become a channel member, which means you get to see videos when they're uploaded rather than when they're scheduled to come out. Um, we have an Instagram, yeah. Studio Life 101. We have a Patreon. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's about have it. Have a little scroll down at the links yeah, down there. Yeah, look at the links, see what's going on. Yeah. Um, sayonara, suckers. See you later.